All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games. We are back with another really cool arcade game. Today it's actually two cool arcade games. This is a Sega's Daytona USA twin cabinet. So two racing games, number one and number two. You can see there on the back of the seat. You can see all the games we've got available at lionsarcade.com, but we thought we'd shoot a video of this um, just because it's such a cool game. We've already shot a couple videos while we were repairing it. Um, you can find here on our website. We did, I mean, uh, on YouTube, on our channel. Um, we did one video of the sounds because it has a lot of uh, classic Sega uh, theme songs and stuff hidden in the test menu. And then I, we did another video showing just how the games work, all the different boards because they're very complex. And uh, we finally finished everything up, so we thought we'd just shoot like a overall video like we usually do with some gameplay. So. This was their twin cabinet. This was the first uh, Daytona released. Um, if you're very familiar with this or if you've got a really good memory, you may notice something missing. On the top of this game, there's supposed to be a big sign and not our beer sign there, although that is a cool sign. That beer sign did not come with this game. Originally, this had a a topper on it that set up on the top here and it kind of went up and it went across and it said Daytona USA. Sadly, that sign is not with it. And the reason for that, you know, that's bugging me that the seat's in the wrong spot. Let me, let me move it. The reason for that sign being missing is because we bought these from an operator who had kind of parted them out and he had started taking parts off and selling things and uh, they were in pretty pretty poor shape where they hadn't been they've been neglected for years so um, we've been working on these a long time and we were able to save them we got the parts that were missing and bolted them back on the cabinets figured out the boards that weren't working right and got them working again but we don't have the sign unfortunately and it's such a big piece it's hard to even ship one of those um, so if we find one we'll put it with it but if not it still plays good so this is their twin cabinet. He had a, you know, two machines at the same time, and then in the middle you had this cash box. You see, there's only one of them. That, uh, uh, of course, controlled both sides. Got two nice Wells Garner K7500 monitors uh, that we've rebuilt and tried to tune so that they looked as close to identical as possible. They're not exactly light, but they're pretty close. Got all the little lights working. So you can see the uh, view button lights work, coin door bulb lights work. Got the monitors nice and crisp. Got the steering working. That was kind of... I've had several, we've had several of these over the years and the, uh, the steering would always kind of pull to one side or the other. And we, we eventually figured out while working on these because they needed so much work that uh, they're not supposed to do that. It should never pull to the left or the right unless your car isn't going straight. Now that sounds like a no-brainer, but I've had games before where it was kind of designed that way. If you, if you uh, are driving straight, it would pull you to the left or the right a little bit just to give you, you know, what they call force feedback. But uh, that's not how this game works. Basically, if the, if the steering wheel is centered, you should be able to drive with the gas on and it not the motor on the steering not pull you to the left or the right. Now, if you turn to the left, the motor will try to pull you to the right. If you turn to the right, the motor will try to pull you to the left. That's how it's designed. So you should be, if you've got one of these or you're working on one, you should be able to uh, drive straight on a straightaway without it, with your hands off the wheel, basically. And if you can't, there's some little uh, potentiometers in the, behind the wheel there that you need to adjust. Uh, we also got the shifters working well, of course. If you're a really good, if you're really good at this game, most people will play it with the manual transmission. Um, I'm going to play it here in a little bit, but I am going to use automatic because I am not really good at this game, or pretty much any game, to be honest. But I am good at fixing them, though, so I have some worth. So there it is, Daytona Twin. Um, in the other video, I showed how all of the boards are under the seat and how it's really complex, and there's a lot of stuff that you have to fix. and. Uh, we figured we'd just show what they looked like whenever we got them all done. Got the cool art on the side, Daytona USA. Of course, we added the orange T molding because we just thought it looked cool.
we're bad about that. If you look at our other videos, you'll see on all kinds of classic stuff, we'll put kind of fruity looking T-molding on it, but I just think it looks cool. So there it is. It's just a little minor mod we like to do to them. What a great addition to our game room here. So I'll get the tripod and we'll uh, we'll shoot a little video of me playing through the uh, the famous first track. All right, folks, we're going to film the video of me playing it. Now the secret to Daytona is you got to be able to break really good, which is pretty hard actually. So once you learn how to do that, though, you can drive it pretty good. I am not a good driver, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to play it a little bit so you can see what's going on. seat back a little bit. Please select a race course. So basically I think you gotta use like both feet to to drive. You gotta Use the gas with your right and brake with your left, which gives you a little more control. And I'm gonna do automatic. Gentlemen, start your engine. That's my attempt at Daytona. Like I said, I'm not that great at it. I'm gonna keep practicing though. Keep watching us here on uh, here on YouTube or stop by our shop. You can go to lionsarcade.com and see all the games we have for sale right now. We've got quite a few. Kind of bright today, got a bunch of stuff turned on. And we will see you next video.